before I even do the piece, I want to recognize by a show of hands all the mothers in the room. We got babies. Raise your hand, or the one baby, or plural, or single father. Okay, so you just if you have children, a <laughs> child, no. Okay, so for all the single mothers and single fathers, or not single, or not single mothers and fathers in the room, parents, but especially mothers, I'm gonna let you know that. For me, I think that you are beautiful. But <clears throat> I would like to speak to the mothers whose hands are bound. Mentally raised to respond and be counted, yet found palms gently resting upon the abdomens their children can no longer be found in. The mothers who know the quickening of conception, daily anticipation of their tiny reflection, yet accepted deception, delivered on bathroom floors, named newborn Christian, wrapped him in napkins, placed inside trash can, and walked away. Because it's easier to throw away burden, harder to carry nine months of conviction, knew nothing of redemption, so turned her back to her baby and religion. I will raise my hand for the mothers who don't fit the mold. Have no markings that stretch across hearts but scar the mind, turning purest daydreams into terrors in the night, dreams of echoed hallways, sounds that only her touch can console, endless hallway of doors but cannot find the one that opens to deliver from the wailing in her own soul. An empty belly. She finds herself habitually caressing, maybe thinking she could love him back into existence, still never truly feeling free even after repentance. I stand for the mother who chose life, though the one selected match not her own, augmented a better option, promised would never be forgotten. Our children are never forgotten. Our children are never forgotten. We are the lost souls. Simply because we don't fit the mold, no scared hand reaches for hours to hold or call us mommy. Our consolation falls upon no ears. Our chest absorb no liquid fear. We are the discounted ones. We've been aborted from motherhood, adopted into misunderstood, but we've miscarried the notion that we are all the same. No selfish act. Immature decision or God's own hand can change our name, we are mother. Our matriarch is not defamed it's simply because there isn't one to call us who we are. I speak for the mothers who could have been, <coughs> should have been, supposed to be. I speak for me. But mother's love is an instinctual gifting. Not one refunded if not spent. It suspends in eternity. Unconditionally transcends cognitive comprehension, the true foundation of a woman's intuition. Not primitively reproducing life is the only exemption. So I speak to the pain, shame, guilt, and regret and say that you are forgiven. For you have been given the gift to fill the heart of God. He remits the sin still recognizes who you are, who we are, we are mothers.